Hello viewers, we have been discussing what is AI model and its each type in a few videos. Today we are going to talk about how to train and build a category classification AI model which classifies the text into different categories. Sometimes they will call it text classification. Using this AI model, we can use it for sentiment analysis, customer request routing, spam detection and product reviews. Before we build this AA model, we'll go through some pre-request. One is the training data. We need to make sure our data is in a dataverse and it's structured in a correct format. Second one is the language. It supports English, French, German, Dutch, Italian, Spanish, and Portugal. Next one is the data type. Text and tags should be stored in a text fields under the same table. The next one is the tags tags that contain fewer than 10 distinct text items are ignored tags should be separated by using a delimiter like a comma semicolon or tab character we can use this up to 200 categories text must be fewer than 5000 characters sample data will look like this it has only two columns which is text and tags for example the text is the speed at which i was seen incredible so it means so this is, classifies our tags into care and check-in process so microsoft provides sample data to start with that or we can prepare our own data for example we can export customer emails or product reviews cleanse it and tag it it has a three-step process one is a prepare the data to train it. Second step is import the data into data verse table. And third one is train it. Now it's a demo time. Step one to prepare the data. As I mentioned, for testing purpose, we can use the sample data. I downloaded the data from Microsoft site. It just looks like this one. So it has a three columns id tags and text column names can be anything we can uh, map it while importing for custom data it's going to look like this one so i created a sample data for product review so it has a three column same thing and then for a text it's a powerful tool that helps make quick changes so that category is basically good and powerful the second one is easy to view the data. I can say the tags easy. So like that, we have to tag for you no know, many records to get a better um, accuracy. Um, so the now the next step is step two: import the data to Dataverse. So let's open the browser. Go to make that powerapps.com, then select your environment. And then on the left navigation side, click on a data and then click on tables. I forgot to mention uh, sample data should be in one drive to import. So click on a data, get data, click on get data. So I have a comma separated CSV file. So click text or CSV. Going to browse from one drive. So your folder called classification, selecting the data. Click next. It will be a, like a Power BI Power Query. So this is going to say uh, three columns it has. And then the first one is ID is a number, integer. It's, it's fine, our whole number. The second one is tags and text it must be a text basically so it's already text so transform data so now basically you know if any column changes or column you know, different things you can do it here so we don't need anything on for now so i'm going to click on next so 
So now we can say uh, load to the existing table or load to new table. I'm going to say load to new table, give it the name, say classification sample. I'll say name as a display name. And then if you say here is ID is a whole number and then tags and text is a text and a multi-line text. Uh, it both supports basically. I keep it the text and a multi-line text. And then for a column, uh, for a unique column, you can keep uh, auto generated column or you can say that the first column which we have in a sample data ID column, uh, we can make as a unique one. If, you, if you're sure about that ID is already unique, you can use it or you can say auto generated, you know, it's, it's fine. So I'm going to say click on next. And then it's a refreshing scale basically. Uh, refresh manually or refresh automatically. So this for a, just a sample one. I know I'm just going to say just uh, refresh manually. Click create. It takes a few seconds or a few minutes to load the data. Now the table is showing here like a classification sample. Click on that one and then go to data. Okay, so now it says the default one name and uh, created on this is a default one. Still, you can you can add a column here and then to show that data what we added. So you can go to that solution and then open your the solution. And then I can say click on a demo. Click on the existing table. Uh, table and say classification sample um, just for demo purpose I'm adding all components but ideally uh, you can just include a table metadata only the um, at you know columns or components needed only you need to add it for now I'm just adding all component and open the classification Basically, I'm going to add some more columns, basically, and then if you see the data, it should be there. You can be able to view it. The data was already there. Now we are able to view the data, ID, tags, and text. So now data is ready. The next step is build and train our AA model. Say make that power apps .com. Click on a builder. Click build. And we are going to do that category classification. Name. Okay. Click create. Okay, now we need to select the text. Basically, we are selecting the text from the table we imported the data. So click on select text. So our table name is classification sample. Basically, we have our text is just same text. Select the column. Okay, now the text is ready. Click on next. Next, we need to select the tags. So click on select tags. So it should be the same table. So classification sample and then tags. So select it. So now this says basically what are the tags already we have it on our system. Okay, click on next. Basically, this is just we are reviewing. Basically, whatever we for the text, the tags are um, really matching. Click on next. You need to select the language. So for us, it's English. Click next. And then it's all our summary. And then you click on train. So now our model is training. It takes a few minutes. And we'll check back once it's done. So 
So our model is straining. Let's meet once this is done. Okay, now our model is trained. So go to details. Okay, and then we'll do the quick test. Okay, we are going to enter some text and then find out how this is tagging correctly. I have some text to test this one. So I'm going to say, okay, I was deeply impressed with the professionalism. Click test. We'll see. Okay, it finds two tags, staff and care. So the confidence level is 92 percentage and 83 uh, percentage. To improve the confidence, we need to you know tag or train with a more text test. This concludes our demo to build and train category classification AA model. In the next video, we will discuss how to use or consume this category classification AA model using Outlook, Power Automate, and Dataverse. Thanks for watching and please write your feedback down below. See you next time.